Long before all the businesses, as well as the uh, heists like Cayo Preco, Casino, and the original heists, there was only one way that players could actually make money in GTA Online, and it was through the contact missions. And a lot of them are actually fun, and the replay factor was definitely there. There's, a, there's some that aren't so good, but most of them I feel like were done pretty well by the developers behind the contact missions. But throughout time, they've been forgotten for the most part and buried in favor of other things in the game. Like, once again, the various businesses, all the heists, and tons and tons of uh, PvP. Now, recently, we had an event week where it was focused on uh, Martin Mendrazo, and they brought back his contact missions along with his dispatch missions. And his contact missions are some of my favorite in the game. But I did notice something when I was playing them with my friend Kane over the weekend. I've played through these missions so many times over the years that it really does feel like old hat. And even if there was at one time uh, replayability for me, it's just hard to really get back into them. And I also noticed that there wasn't as many people interested in the contact missions. A big reason why a lot of people don't want to play the contact missions today is because of the pay or the lack of pay. Even if you put these contact missions at double money, you're really not getting a lot. And the way Rockstar tweaked the contact missions was where you would get paid more for taking a longer amount of time to complete them because in the early days of GTA Online, people were bum rushing through the contact missions, grinding through them in order to make money to buy high-end apartments and all the nice cars and all the other toys as well that were available in the game, such as the Rhino Tank and the Buzzard Attack Helicopter. So I think Rockstar can do a few things to make the contact missions great again. Uh, first off, let's talk about the pay. It's not very good compared to a lot of things that are in the game now. And yeah, I realize there's a ton of ways to make money in GTA Online. Fun factors should be more important as well as replayability. And I feel like for newer players or returning players, the contact missions for the most part provide a fun factor and replayability to them. It's just that third element that's missing, the money. I think that similar to what they did with several modes and jobs, Rockstar needs to take the uh, payouts for the contact missions and seriously buff them to either double or triple the current amount. That would encourage more players and entice them to play the contact missions knowing they're going to make more money doing them. Next is to restore the replay option for contact missions. Now, there was a time when players grinded the hell out of Rooftop Rumble because it paid the best. And there was an easy way for players to get through the Rooftop Rumble in order to make as much money as possible. Which is why Rockstar tweaked Rooftop Rumble a few times and ultimately disabled the replay button. It's time to bring back the replay button, Rockstar. So yeah, buff the pay, bring back replay, so that if there are missions you want to replay, whether it's Rooftop Rumble, our Trash Talk, our Los Santos Connection, whatever the favorite contact missions of yours happen to be, players should have a right to be able to replay them to their heart's content. So I completed Trash Talk solo on hard, got $32,000 for it. Back in the day, that was pretty decent for a contact mission, especially since it's double money, but I think that the payouts should be buffed and uh, I think that would encourage a lot more players to try out the contact missions. I hate that it's that way in this game because most players, when it comes to doing stuff in the game, either just want to PvP or they want to earn lots of money, as much money as possible. And if there are things in the game that don't pay out as much, they don't want anything to do with them, even if there's fun factor and replayability to be had. There's so many ways in this game to make money now. You think that players will be searching for fun things to do, like the contact missions. So yeah, the payouts need to be buffed, and if the replay button was restored, 
those would go a long ways towards making the contact missions great again. The third way was something I've only dreamed about over the years, but it might become a reality. I saw this post from Tez, and Rockstar is seemingly working on a public version of the mission creator. The new script was added to the bottom dollar bounties update, but currently empty. Now, the big thing that keeps the community going is the creators, those that make various jobs, whether it's races, death matches, LTSs, as well as survivor missions. All those constantly are getting new, fresh, delicious creator modes. In fact, Rockstar features some of these new creator modes in the community series. And they even give further incentive for players to try them out for triple money. And there's obviously a community out there that enjoys creator-made jobs. And I have long desired to have a mission creator in the game. Now, I don't know how in death it would be. I would like for it to allow us to do a lot of crazy, fun things because I have several mission ideas in my head that I would like to try and uh, make a reality in GTA Online. I'm sure some of you that enjoy the contact missions have also had a few that you have thought up. But if Rockstar is in fact going to add uh, a mission creator to the creator mode in the future, maybe by the December update or somewhere before then, that could open the door to a lot of very interesting missions that the community could make. But once again, will people play them? It's going to have to come down to money, unfortunately. Because like I said a, a moment ago, there are plenty of players out there that simply won't do it if they don't feel like they're getting paid enough money to do it. So yeah, I would very much love to see the contact mission creator in the game. That would be awesome. But whether or not that becomes a reality remains to be seen. But it is interesting that Rockstar did add that code to the most recent update, implying plans, the foundation being laid for them to add a mission creator. And if they do, I'm definitely going to try my luck at making some jobs and missions with the mission creator. Because I've had a few ideas about how uh, some continuations, I guess, from GTA 5 are maybe tying up some quote unquote loose ends thanks to the creator. If you're able to have access to uh, a certain number of uh, NPCs in the game, that would be great. But the question is how much. Uh, creativity will be allowed to have with a hypothetical mission creator. Like, we'll be able to use the entire map or only parts of the map or a certain region of the map because, you know, some of us probably have uh, mission ideas that span across the entire state of Southern San Andreas. A really good mission creator, restoring the replay button and buffing all contact mission payouts would go a long ways towards making contact missions great again and lead to more players, new and old, playing the contact missions once again in GTA Online. Thoughts, views, opinions, welcome as always below in the comments section.